Hey, our friends, we've already drawn Mickey Mouse, so we thought it would be a lot of fun to draw Minnie Mouse. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah, we love Disneyland. That's where we got our shirts on, right? Yeah! The shirt! <laughs> you got your marker? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. Now we're using three sheets of paper because we are going to use our Sharpies and we wanna make sure that it doesn't go through to the table. And we also have our colored pencils. We're gonna use pink, red, and yellow. Let's put those off to the side. We're gonna start with our markers. First step, we're gonna draw her head and it's a circle. So we're gonna start down here at the bottom and draw around to the other side, but we're gonna leave a little gap at the very bottom of our circle. Okay, yeah. So we'll start here, and if we wanted, we could use a template, but let's just do it freehand. That means without tracing around something. So we're gonna draw a circle that comes around from one side over to the other side. Like that, and then we're gonna leave a gap down here at the bottom. Yeah, circle. Oh, you're drawing it small. I like it. That's good. And it's okay that it's small. So we're, let's try and do it different. So you're okay. going to try and draw Minnie Mouse a little smaller than me. Okay, next step. Let's draw the little chin that connects from one side to the other. And it's just a little U-shape. Nothing special. <laughs> Good. Now, right here in the middle, let's draw an oval, and it's going to be for her nose. And we're going to draw it right in the middle, and then we're going to color it in. Good. Now let's draw the nose line that goes over the top of her nose. So it's a little curve, it goes over. Then we're going to draw her eyes, and they're going to be ovals too, but we want to leave a little gap on the side so that she has that light, uh, re light reflection in her eyes. So we're going to draw an oval, and then right here we're going to leave a little gap. Good. And then with that gap, we're going to draw a sideways V. And the V connects all the way over to the other side. Yeah, just like that. And then let's color it in. Now we're going to draw another oval, but it's going to be tipped a little, and we're going to leave a gap on the side also. So here we go. We're going to draw another oval. goes over, touches the bottom line, and leaves a little gap. Good. And then we're going to draw a V that connects to the other side, touches the other side of her eye, and then we're going to color it in. Now you want to make sure that both eyes are the same size, so if you need to make one a little bigger, you can just trace it again. Okay, now we're going to draw her mouth, and it's going to be right here in between her cheek line and her chin line. So we're going to draw a little smile, and it's going to be off to the side, so it's further to the left. Good, yeah. And then you may want to bring the right side over a little further, and then we can draw her mouth open. little U shape that comes down into her chin, and then we're gonna draw her tongue. So we'll draw one bump, and then another bump. And if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video. Oh, Kiwi's going nuts. Kiwi, we're talking. <laughs> that's Kiwi. Yeah, that's Kiwi. We have another bird now, right? Yes. What's our other bird's name? Taco. Taco. <laughs> yeah, so we got a boy and we got a girl. Yes. Okay, so I colored in the mouth. Now let's draw the little cheek line on the side. Little curve right here in the cheek. Okay, now she has the design that goes over her face and around her cheeks. So let's first draw a little curve that goes around her cheek. Now we're gonna draw the big curve that goes over each of her eyes and it comes down to a point in between her eyes. So we could put a little point there if we want. And we're gonna do a big curve that comes up and almost touches the top of the circle you may be running out of room, so it may need a touch up here. So you're gonna draw a big curve, touches up here, and then comes down to that point. Now let's draw the other curve that goes over this eye, and we're gonna come over and around. Yes, just like that, and we kinda of stopped at the same place that we stopped over here. 
And then we're going to draw another curve for her cheek on this side. Looks like Mickey Mouse, huh? Yes. We need to add some eyelashes, but before we do that, let's color in this side part, so the part that's above her eyes. Okay, let's make it Minnie Mouse by adding the eyelashes. So we're going to add a little curve. One, two, three. Come in off of the side of her eye. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, and the second one can be a little longer than the other, the first and the third one. Now I'm going to go back over mine because they're a little bit bigger than yours and you can leave yours exactly how they are if you want. But I'm going to make it look like a raindrop on the very end of her eyelash. Now let's draw her hat on top of her head. We draw one line coming right out of the top of her forehead. <laughs> and we'll draw another one that's over here on this side. Then we're going to connect the top. Then we're going to draw a rainbow line on top of that. Good job. Now let's draw her ears. So right here on the top of her hat, we're going to draw a big curve and it's going to come and touch right here where her hat comes into her head. So here we go. We're going to draw a big curve, a big oval comes out of the top of her hat and then connects down at the bottom of her hat. Yeah. Good. Now let's draw her other ear, and it's going to be on the side of her head. So we're going to draw another oval. Squeaky markers. Yes. And then we're oh, going to color yeah, those in. Bigger. That's okay. You can you can trace this one and make it a little bigger. Oh, yeah, because it's black. Yeah. All right. Let's fill it in. We got it. Now let's draw the flower coming out of her hat. So we're going to draw an. Uh, oval or a circle up here above her ear. Then let's draw an upside down U for one petal. We're going to draw another petal coming out of the side. And this one can be a little shorter. Then we'll draw a U on the bottom. Then we're going to draw two more petals on this side. So let's draw a big one and then a small one. Now let's draw the stem that comes out from the flower and connects down to the hat. All right, you ready to draw her body? Yes. Okay, we're going to start with the top of her body first. We're going to draw a short line coming out of her chin. And then we're going to draw a curve that comes down longer. So she's kind of sticking her hips out. Okay, now we're going to draw her hip on this side. <laughs> it's her hip. Okay. <laughs> Little curve. <Good. laughs> now let's draw her waist. So we're going to connect from one side over to the other side. And then above this, let's color it in. Okay, now let's draw her hands on her hips. So let's draw this first hand right here. So we're going to draw a little line coming out of her belly. And then we're going to draw a curve that's a U shape over here. A little U shape, and then we're going to curve back for a finger. Then we're going to curve back up and almost connect to this line. Now we're going to draw the wrist on her glove. Good. Now on their gloves, she has two little marks, unlike Mickey. Now let's draw her other hand. So we're going to draw another curve coming out of her hip. <laughs> And then we're going to draw that same kind of curve over here on this side for her finger. Okay, and then it's going to curve back around for to finish the finger. And then we're going to draw a curve that almost touches the other one we drew. Then let's draw the wrist part of her glove. And on this hand, let's draw one more finger back there. Good. And then those little marks on her gloves. Perfect. What is she missing? Uh, her arms. Yeah, her hands are just floating. Let's draw a curve that comes out from her neck right here and then curves into her glove. 
then we're going to start really close to the curve up here, but when we get closer to her glove, we're going to get farther apart, so her arm is thicker down here at the bottom. And then we can color that in. Okay, now let's draw her other arm. This time we're going to draw a bent line. So it's going to come out of her chin and then bend into the glove. Then we'll do the same thing with the other side of her arm. And when it comes into her arm, into her glove, I mean, it's going to be thicker. So I'm further away from the other line. Good. Now let's color that in. Now we can draw the bottom of her dress. So let's draw a little curve, and she's got these little ruffles on the bottom. So a little curve coming out from her hand. Then we're going to draw a bigger U. Then we can draw a wide U that's kind of short. And then we're going to draw another U on the side, but it's going to almost touch her dress right there. Um. Oh yeah, and then this one, start coming up closer to her hand now. See how there's a big gap yeah. in between her hand? So the next one needs to be closer. See how I'm almost touching now? And then I'm just going to connect it in. And one more to connect. Good! That's okay. It looks like she yeah. has a longer dress. Now she has spots on her dress, but we're going to color those later. Okay. And now let's draw her little ruffles underneath her dress on her legs. So on this side, we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw three little U shapes connected together. And then right next to that, we're gonna draw three more ruffles. Okay, you ready to draw our legs next? Yes. Okay, let's draw the first one right here. And I'm gonna draw two lines coming out of the ruffles and see how they flare out at the bottom. There you go. Yeah, like that. Good job. Now on this one, we're going to draw them a little further out. They're going to come out to the side. Perfect. Now let's draw the shoe on this side first, and it's going to be a big oval. And then inside of that, we'll draw another kind of circle shape, U shape. And then we can color in this leg. Now let's draw this foot, and we're going to draw an oval, but we don't want to connect it. So we want it to be about the same size as the other one. So we're going to come around, and then I'm going to leave a little gap, and I'm going to draw the other side of the oval. So see how there's a little gap? Yes. And then we can draw her heel on her shoe. So a little line coming down on this side, and a little line on this side, and then connect them at the bottom. Perfect. Now let's draw that same line that we drew over here for her foot, comes around, touches the back. Then we can color this in. We're missing one last detail. Her tail. Yes, we're missing her tail. So right here where her finger is, we're going to draw a curve that curves down. And then we're going to draw another curve that bounces back up. We did it. Give me five. You did awesome. Let's fast forward. We're going to use our colored pencils to color and you guys at home can pause the video when we're all done so that you can match. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Checkers, good job, man. You finished drawing and coloring mini. You did a great job. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now you guys at home can pause the video to match the coloring that we did. And you want to make sure that you leave white spots on Minnie's dress because Minnie always has white polka dots. Yeah. <laughs> the only problem with drawing Minnie Mouse is now I bet you want to go to Disneyland or Disney yeah. World, right? Uh, that's what I want to do. Yes. You want to go? Yeah. All right. Should we go soon? Yes. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.